and here we are back on the channel with another video this time around I want to talk about signal lights on e-bikes and I'm just going to get past the stop sign and then I want to talk about that So, signal lights on e-bikes. Most e-bikes do not come with signal lights. Uh, a few do, but most don't. And I'm not sure why. Why not? And. Uh, so I want to discuss it, but we'll talk a little more after we get through this intersection here. As we wait patiently for a green light. <clears throat> Looks like we're changing now. And here we go. So, I'm not sure the reasoning, well I know what people say, but I'm, I'm not sure I agree with this, but anyway, so whenever you talk about why there's not signal lights on e-bikes, a lot of times I'll get the, well, if you put signal lights on the e-bike, it's going to turn the e-bike into a moped. Therefore, you'll have to get it licensed, registered, uh, insured, and all that. And so, why is that? Why does it automatically, when you put signal lights on a bike, turn it from an e-bike into a moped? Just, just signal lights alone, I don't quite get that to me safety comes first right and I mean a hundreds of times better would would the using signal lights as opposed to using hand signals work not only for our own safety on the bikes but for their car drivers I'm sure can much easier see lights as opposed to somebody using hand signals and take take for example right now I'm riding in the dark at night can somebody see I'm wearing a raincoat so that helps reflect reflective color but if somebody's wearing something darker and they're putting out their hand to turn I don't know how well they're going to be seen so I just don't quite understand the uh, I just don't understand the fact that there's no lights on, on bikes I mean you can get them put on sure let me get by this light You can put them on the bike yourself, but why not have them on uh, the bike to begin with? I mean, safety comes first. I think it would be a win-win all the way around. You know, I think that would be great for everybody. We'd all be able to see. I mean, I'm wearing, for example, uh, an x Nido bike helmet right now, e-bike helmet, right? Well, that helmet, right now has a front light 
I'll call it a headlight or a front white light. It's a solid light. And then it's got the, I'm using the flashing rear light. There's a few options uh, for flashing or a solid red light. So I can wear the helmet okay, but I can't put signal lights on the bike. I just, I don't know, it just, it, shake, it makes me shake my head every time. And uh, ever since I've been riding an e-bike, I've never understood that, um, ever. And it's not just e-bikes to me. Why can't anything that rides on the road, if it's a bicycle, if it's a, um, you know, a one wheel hoverboard or whatever, let's put a signal light so we know if somebody's turning, it makes it safer for, for them who's riding the vehicle and for the motorized vehicles to see, like the cars and everything, to see us. I don't know. It just really gets me every time. I just don't understand that, uh, really. I mean, just, just by putting lights on a bike, like I mean already, um, without us putting our own lights on it, coming standard with the lights. I just, I guess, I don't know. I just, I just am shaking my head right now because I don't know why, why it is. But anyway, if you've got a comment on this, maybe you've got a rational reason um, that's a little better than, well, they're gonna make it, call it a moped, uh, and then say, uh, you know, let's get it registered and plated and all that. I can understand speed making it, um, you know, more changing it to a moped, but not lights. I mean, gee whiz, let's put lights on everything so we can see. Everybody can see, it's a lot more safer. Here I am in the dark, now this bike I'm on, and I'm gonna go up a gigantic hill here. This bike I'm on now is the, is the Aerial Rider Grizzly. And it didn't come with uh, lights, but it did come locked at 20 miles per hour. Yes, I've unlocked it and I can go faster than that, but I don't always do that. Like right now today, here I'm riding tonight and I'm not exceeding you know, 13, 14, 15 miles an hour unless I'm getting by an intersection trying to hurry it up, but uh, I don't know. So if you've got a comment below, on what you think of the whole, maybe maybe you're in agree with, agreement with me and maybe you believe, just like I do, that all bikes, I don't care if they're motorized or regular bicycles even. And not just uh, rear signal lights, we want them on the front and rear so everybody can see, both sides. But anyway, it's, that's just a topic that really gets me every time. Maybe I'm getting worked up for nothing, I don't know, but it just, just my opinion on that and I just I'll probably never understand it until someday I think they will I think they'll put lights on everything I just don't know if it'll be in my lifetime but anyway I, I suppose we can put our own lights on but the nice thing though about the bike companies putting them on is that you don't have to worry about it they're automatically there and that's it you know we we all have them and hopefully if we have them gee willikers let's use them you know let's use our signal lights because i see so many cars that don't signal and that's the the worst thing i mean you're riding behind them or you're driving behind them and they don't signal uh that's not good so Please, 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 if you get signal lights, use them. Because that's what helps make it safe. Anyway, it gets me worked up every time. <laughs> every time I, I just don't understand it. But anyway, 
especially at night like this, you know, like let's get signal lights. So who knows? Well, I want to. I'm curious though to see what what you guys out there think. What everyone thinks about this. What is your opinion on this? Um, does it get you going too? Do you understand it? Do you think it's fine, uh, just the way it is? Or what's your take on it? As we come up to a red light. Oh, look at that. It turned green for me. Yeah, I think uh, I think headlights, tail light, brake light, brake lights another one we could say too. Make sure uh, you know, put brake lights on the bikes so we can see when someone's braking. I know the bikes legally in most states it's you know it's going to be 20 or 28 miles per hour, so that's fast enough to uh, when you're slowing down or coming to a stop. Any speed is fast enough to have a brake light as well. That's the other thing too. Let's throw in a brake light as well. Um, give us brake lights. I mean, my bikes have brake light. So um, I'm thankful for that. But anyway, I'm, I'm going on and on about this, but that's my opinion on the, uh, the light situation. And like I say, so if you've got a comment, I'm sure this topic is a is a good one, you know, for to spark up some uh, some debate. Uh, leave a comment in the comments below, and uh, I'll try to get to as many comments as I possibly can when I have the time to do it. And. So that's going to do it for this video on signal lights on e-bikes. Why not? You know, why can't we? Get them on the e-bikes. Let's go. And uh, get them on all bikes for that matter, not just e-bikes. Any bike that's going on the road, which is every bike because you're legally not allowed to ride on the sidewalk anyway, let's get lights on everything. Signal lights, brake lights, headlights, so we can be seen bad enough as it is you know with some of the situations that we have that's one way we can improve things a little bit anyway you know at the start anyway that's going to do it for this video i want to thank you for joining me today and if you want to comment on this or any other video go ahead in the comments below if you like this video hit that like button and if you'd like to subscribe to the channel you can subscribe, uh, hit that subscription button. Uh, we'd be glad to have you uh, on our channel as a subscriber. And also to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, you can hit the notification bell and it'll notify you that a new video has begun on the channel. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video and we hope to see you again on the next one so until next time take care